Got him. Oh boy. <laughs> You know, we're supposed to be heading home to get in the pool right now. <laughs> two, two just headed out. Two more are right there. Getting ready to pull out. Must be getting hot. Probably getting ready to storm. Yeah, right. Shorts. What? Where's your shorts? I'm too sunburnt too to wear sunburnt, shorts. Yeah. Yeah. You fall asleep in the pool? Passed out? I didn't pass out, but I was relaxing. <laughs> All right, y'all. Welcome back to Hookset TV. Me and Joe are up at a Pretty Boy Reservoir. We're gonna try to get on the bluegill spawn. We're gonna try to catch some crappie, probably catch some bass. And uh, because of the 17 year cicadas, I hear there's a crazy top water carp bite. We might try some of that too. But the, the big situation today is, uh, it's gonna be about 97 degrees. Usually on days like today, I'm up before the sun, on the water in the dark, get my fishing in before it gets real hot so I can spend the afternoon in the pool. But uh, this guy says meet me at the ramp at 11 o'clock. So uh, we're gonna cook pretty good today. We're probably gonna die of heat stroke. But uh, before that, we're gonna try to catch some fish before we die. And if, uh, if I die first, I give Joe permission to cut me up and use me for bait as long as he puts the camera on and uh, you know uploads it to my channel because that's a viral video waiting to happen right there. So uh, let's see what happens. Oh, you got three up? No. Oh, two. Yeah, that's three dozen, Joe. I know you went to lands down, but I can figure that out. Oh, a carp just smashed that cicada. See there him? He is right there. I know. Throw something out there. He's gonna swim right under us. Right, well, yeah, Look, yeah. he's right next to us. That's probably why he stopped. Decent one. Probably about the size of the one you caught that one day. Unless he's gonna come back to it. Need a cast net. That's, fu that's, that's funny how they do that shit every. I guess they get tired of them the fucking sitting on the wall. Water is clear. Mm-hmm. Watch this bobber disappear here. Nine inch bluegill. There he is. Oh, yeah. There he is. First fish of the day. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. That's a decent one. Yeah. Nice and thick. Got him. I don't know if he makes a team. No. Usually them shallow beds, those are smaller fish. Not the only ones I've ever had. There he is. Oh, he's a decent one. Feels decent. Oh, he might make the team, Joe. He does. Look like one of them high for a minute. Get on in here. Oh, yeah. That's a good one, Joe. You want to fish the outside ones and then work your way in. Go in here too. Go in the wall, so. That's what we came here for, folks. See if there's any, see if there's any left. Oh, there he is. That seems like a decent fish. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I, I think he's just two of them too. We didn't know he was hooked at first. He didn't fight very hard for his size, I'll tell you that. I shouldn't have stopped that one. 
Oh. <laughs> He's trying to rip their damn faces off. He spit it out. You can see him. <laughs> Look at my bobber. My bobber slid down. <laughs> Slip by, I just saw a slip by. Hey, Joe, you on that Andro shit? I've been cycling. Yeah. <laughs> That's apparent. <laughs> They're going to have to test me after the fight here. You're taking all those Mexican vitamins. No. Look at him, show me. Oh! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's done, Joe. He's done. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You gave that poor guy CTE. <laughs> he was all first a little short. Big dog. There he is. He's right at eight. Took him back in. Alright, this fella don't make the team. Yeah, he's on the last breeds. One of his little greenies. Not really cleaned off or not, is it? They saw all shit, man. They're probably all size. There's one. Yeah, hey, he's a little guy. Oh, that's a that's a yellow. That's a big yellow. Big? Yeah, dude. You might keep. I know we didn't get out on them big yellows this year. Yeah, that one's going in my frying pan. I got the sunscreen on. Yeah, he'll eat. There he is. Found something, Jeff. Yeah, this is where we got him to get that one down. All right, y'all, we, uh, we found some beds, but it didn't look like they were active beds. They were pretty dirty. We're seeing a lot of cruising bass, but they won't bite anything. We're seeing lots of carp. We've seen a couple come up and eat some cicadas off the top. So we might, uh, we might try some of that a little bit. It's hot, it's really hot. But um, we're gonna head up to the northern side of the, northern side of the lake, see if we can find some active bluegill beds. We'll call some bluegills on the beds, but they're not, uh, they're dirty beds, they're not clean yet. So, um, we'll see what happens up the other side of the lake. Well, you're better off starting out deep and then just working your way shallow. I'm gonna start using this other pool. There he is. Oh, he's decent. Oh, yeah. This guy's got to fight. He might make the team. Thank you, Jesus, for some shade. Oh, you're lucky, Joe. You breaking, you breaking that reel wasn't even on video. I didn't break that, did I? Exactly. <laughs> oh, I'm over close. I can't get over this close with this side. You're around, you're around, yeah. You're around over there. There he is. A lot of cicadas on this side of the lake. Where is it? So there's a lot of cicadas over here. They're fucking loud. Oh, 
Yeah, we found the juice right here. You get close to that wood, you're catching a fish every time. Look at this guy. Look how fat that guy is. I see him, I see him. Hey. It's on his greenies. I've never seen a carp act like this. They say it only happens every 17 years. Cicadas up here. Yeah. Right here. On the water. Grab a couple. Where? Oh. You gonna fish with them? I got nothing set up for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a bluegill right there. Did you get one? He's moving? Mm -hmm. He's moving. I'm on your hook. See anything in there? Not yet. Right there, straight ahead. Dark spot. No, I see grass. Look at this. One landed on me. There you go. back for that yard. Carp. Huh? I'm just calling out the carp. They're everywhere. Otter, though. It's not all bad in here, you know. A couple weeks back. Carp, carp, carp. Oh my god, there's so many carp. Well, you found the carp. Look at these jokers. Any beds in there? See the carp in there. Well, I think you got it. I got something. Check that out. <laughs> Top water gill. <laughs> there was one following it too. Yeah. Look at carp. Check that out, y'all. Got the gill on the topwater. Oh, he's peeing too. Did you see that bluegill took this right out of a carp's mouth? Did you see it? I didn't see it. There might be some bluegills right on the edge of that tree. There was another one following it. Right, he followed it right into the bank. There was two bass in there too. Like there was like three fish that came up after it. That bluegill took it right out of a carp's mouth. All right, y'all. It's about 3:15. It's hot. It's really hot. We're finding some fish. We're just not finding them. Um, really locked down on beds finding them around the beds they're moving up but we haven't found any clean beds with uh with the gills on them we found a bunch of dirty beds i mean it's hot i'm trying to catch a carp on top water i've never done that before i'm getting their attention but uh they're just not committing to it i had one that looked like he was going to eat it but a bluegill came up and snatched my popper right out of the carp's mouth so uh anyway we're making a run further north so um, stay tuned, we'll see what happens. Oh, I got one. There you go, got a carp? Yeah. The one that nudged my bottle. Oh! You're gonna lift one for me, right? I got you. <laughs> yeah, Joe. <laughs> it's a good one too. <laughs> he was trying to eat your bobber? <laughs> Every time I fucking put a fucking bobber in there, he was nudging it. What pound test you got? Six, maybe. You don't think you gotta set that drag? It's loose. Took off. I'm too close to this boat. Have fun. What? 
Uh, let me get my pliers. Where are my pliers at? You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Champion, <laughs> champion carp fisherman. Gotta tease him with that red bobber before he gets pissed off. <laughs> yeah, go try to eat your bobber. He's pushing it with his nose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A jig head? No, I, like a jitterbug. I didn't bring my whole box, I just brought a couple things. Spins in the front, make noise. Oh, look at him! Look at him! Look at him! Look at him! Oh, look at him! <laughs> that carp is eating it. He's eating it, Joe. He? Yeah, he's eating it. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cicada. I told y'all you gotta do is catch them fucking cicadas and put them in a jar. I'll watch them eat it. <laughs> I'll watch them eat it. Oh yeah, you catch some cicadas. The cicada wasn't even on the surface. It doesn't have to be. Yeah, the jig sent it down. I'll watch them go down and get it though. There it is, y'all, on the cicada. There you go, y'all. Carp on a cicada. Every 17 years. Ooh, that's not a bluegill. Carp. Another car. <laughs> I saw him. I saw him there. <laughs> I say kids would have a ball with this thing. <laughs> that was on regular night crawl. Yeah. I say you put a big piece of night crawl on there. I think. These carp are on another level today, y'all. They're out here eating these cicadas. They're getting fat. I'm gonna boat flip them. <laughs> yeah. 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 What pound test? Six. Six. This used to be my uh, drop shot rod, but I got that uh, Falcon with the Stratic on it. That's my drop shot rod now. Carp action. Another carp? I think it's a big kill. I'm a straight in like a crappie though. You just don't know he's hooked yet. Oh, nice kill. I say every one's been eight and a half. They're going right. Going right. Going right. <laughs> They're bean lining towards your bobber. Oh, 
Oh, That's a carp. That's a carp. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I seen him grab it. Oh yeah. Fifty on the Cool. Boat flip challenge. Uh no. Well like you've been hooking for. Well that's just a silver. Yeah, that beautiful. Oh. oh, I saw it. As soon as you pop it. Red bobble. Okay. <laughs> as soon as I popped it. <laughs> that red bobble don't make no difference. Oh, shit. No, as soon as you got that car down there, you'll be able to hit. Good one, too. I've never had car back like this before. <laughs> Oh my god! Go <laughs> on. That bluegill wasn't afraid to bite after he uh That guy's full of pissing vinegar. <laughs> this fish is pissing. Alright, this a this a top my last boat flip. This guy's bigger. Oh! <laughs> Almost got him. Get off? No. Oh, come on. You got fish flopping around up here. That's out of the way. That fucking bluegill buried my shit. Guys, I've never had a day where the carp are just eating everything. The cicadas have these carp so riled up. It carp. seems like the bluegills won't bite until yeah. we get a carp out of there. Oh yeah, well, as soon as I hooked that one, I seen a carp behind them. All right, guys, we found our biggest concentration of bluegill beds right here. They go for about 30 feet up into the shallows, but the carp are all over this area and we just keep catching the carp. And when the carp are in there amongst the bluegills, the bluegills won't bite. But it seems like once we pull a carp out, we start catching some bluegill. Then the bite will die off until we get one of the carp out. It's the craziest thing I've ever seen. I've never seen carp act like this. The cicadas have just turned these carp up into feeding frenzy animals.
Last cicada we had too. Look how far he took me. Oh, it's a big one. It's gotta be a 10 pound smallie, Joe. Fuck with the guys. <laughs> he heard it. These carp have been on a rampage today. They're in, a, they're in crazy feed mode because of these cicadas. Ugh, that's probably the last one of the day because I'm done going after these guys. I think there might have been some heads right there. All right, Joe, I'm back at the crib. It was a scorcher out there today, man. The 17 year cicada bite. I heard a lot of people talking about it, how it's driving the carp crazy, and they ain't lying. There was a lot of people up there just after the carp. They're saying, hey, it only happens every 17 years, so I'm going to get on it while I can get on it. We caught a bunch of bluegills. We caught some bass. We caught some yellows, but those carp were crazy. Those cicadas had those carp going crazy. I mean, they were attracted to the the orange bobbers we were throwing around. They would, you throw the orange bobbers out and they would just storm to it. But uh, if you got the cicadas around in your area, I would go down there and uh, try to catch some of those carp because uh, it was a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun. We caught a lot of fish today. Well, uh, I've had one thing on my mind for the last six hours and that's what I'm about to do. So uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel. And until next time, thanks for watching Hookset TV.